She deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on my Hannah has been making the moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. Uh, just because he's class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, Em, I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. weekend. Josh. Oh my God, what did our naive sister get herself into now? Jeez, Josh. <laughs> Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Um. <coughs> I got your note. Glad you can make it. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We were just messing around, Dad. That wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike.
Hannah. Hello? Hannah. Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. <coughs> Hannah, back. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. This guy. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. It's all right. Sometimes. Sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right. We will start with a simple exercise. This game would be late. Could you please pick dark. up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Was it okay? So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Okay, honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? Well, I see, I see. Let's see. Scarecrow were not there. Would you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Say a week, for example. Oh no? Why not? It's a fine line between the peacefulness of solitude and the loneliness of isolation. Perhaps this is something we can explore in the future. Hmm? Because I'm afraid we're out of time. <laughs> Not for now. Until our next session. 
And uh, until then, try to surround yourself with friends in a place that makes you feel safe. Today is the one-year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. Listeners, well, an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, with their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this. And I, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, you know, thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and, um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes!
What? <sighs> Damn it. Oh, Jesus, never mind. <laughs> Bella? You hungry? Huh? <laughs> Cutie. <laughs> cool. The colors of butterflies indicate the nature of the prophecy of death. Black butterflies prophesy the dream of death. Red danger. Red butter butterflies warn the danger of defense. Loss. Brown butterflies foretold a tragedy affecting friends. Yellow guided yellow butterflies offer visions to help and guide. White fortune white butterflies spot dreams of luck and good fortune. Driven man. Sam, hey, you made it. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. 
Where? Right around here. Gonna blow your mind. for a whole year. Yeah, I swear, the moment I got here, it just all came flooding back. Here goes fast. Oh, man, look at this. Nice! You think we'll get a visit from America's Most Wanted? Looks like someone thought so. Oh, come on, this place is abandoned most of the year. Nobody comes up here. comes to mind why is this even here what do you mean w what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge uh dude have you ever met josh's dad yeah he thinks he's like grizzly adams or something want to try uh no you go ahead grizzly <laughs> all right here goes All right, I'm bad. I'm a badass. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. No, nah, I don't think so, girl. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. Locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He, he said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. After you. Oh, real gentleman.
What a crazy place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. I'm not so rich. Family bought a mountain. We gotta wait. I'm starting to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. How long is it gonna take? It's a big mountain. Like going to the prom. Here we go. Right. Adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, get everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just, let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or we're talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Yep. Stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another 10 minutes in there, and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. It's all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Hey! Well, 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 what do we have Chris. here? Chris! My goodness! This seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Mike and M split were together. Whoa. 
drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Oh. Alright, alright, let's just get up to the lodge already. I'm getting tired of all this nature. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean, you know, whoever. Uh-huh. Sam? <sighs> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge, like, right where the cable car ends? Hey, babe. Oh. I don't think it would have been, like, as pretty. You know? And where's the bellboy when you need one? Chills. We're almost there. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh, uh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. I mean, what do you think? Ah! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods. It's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. Michael, you gotta step off. Emily and I are together now, and that's just the way it is. I'm not gonna tell you again. Do we understand each other? Well, I thought maybe we could move past all this. It buds, but yeah, fine. Mike. No, no, no. No, it's totally cool. I'm just gonna head down the road, be all mature and shit by myself over here. Peace. I think you got the message. Kind of hot when you get all alpha, you know that? Oh, crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, just all the bags. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Em, I really don't think you should head back down the trail by yourself. Seriously? It's cold out and it's getting dark. You're gonna protect me from it being dark out? I'll just leave your stuff here and come with you. Nobody's gonna steal it. Matt, are you kidding me? You can't leave me alone for five minutes? You really think that little of me? That's not what I meant. Why can't you just listen to me? Why do you have to question everything I say? I'm sorry, Em. I'm just trying to be helpful. If you want to be helpful, then you can help get everything up to the lodge as quickly as you can, okay? Um. Uh, okay. Fine. Whatever you want. Thank you. I'll see you up there after I go find Sam. See you in a bit.
Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. And not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. that ash i didn't mean to scare Jeez you Louise, well Matt. i did mean to scare you sort of scare you but not like for real scare my you gosh oh my god hey well man I'm, I'm really sorry ash dan it's okay it's fine it's fine what are you looking at see anything juicy with that thing uh it, let me check it out it, uh, yeah it's kind of busted it's not it's not like really interesting it's just what uh, for real I, I bet I could find, like, a cool bear chowing down on a fox or something. Uh, sure. Help yourself. Just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. God I... Damn it. Matt. Not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. But who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? I, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> great. Hey, hey, you know that? <laughs> Where are you hiding, little chicken? Oh, ah. Hey! Oh, snap! calling it my favor then your worthy opponent miss jessica the snowball queen okay that sounds vaguely dirty my lady ah oh okay okay you're really gonna get it what am i gonna get well i can think of at least one thing yeah but you'll have to wait until later. We should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. 
taking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. I trust that you have stayed in the company of good friends since our last session. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Dick wants to know if we can babysit for him tonight. Did I startle you? So sorry. You're doing very well. Don't be nervous. Try to speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience.
This is very interesting. Thank you. What? For answering so diligently. <laughs> Spiders, clowns, and needles. <laughs> the sun combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm afraid, once again, we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. spend some quality time with each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters I need to go find Sam son of a bitch so I got moved to the back and next to Josh that's how we met boom butterfly effect I feel like this mountain gets bigger every time I climb it. Oh yeah? It feels the same to me. Come on, you grew up here. It probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. When are you gonna install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, I mean, I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, oh, I think I left it in my other jacket. Oops. Hey guys. Get up here okay? Yeah. Well, more or less, but it is so good to see you. What's up with him? Yo, yo, yo. We get things moving up here or what? Yeah, man. So Matt and Emily are a thing now, right? Yeah, so it seems. I mean, what's Mike think of that? I have a feeling Mike's already got his hands full, you know what I mean? Huh. Damn it. It's a freaking thing. It's iced. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in. They're just all locked. There's got to be like a window around the corner we can get, like, get open or something. Wait a second. Are you saying we should break in? <laughs> I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey. Not if I don't report you. Um, <laughs> lead the way, coaches. Hey, Ash. Hi, Chris. So, how are you doing? It's good, but a little cold. I think I could use some time curled up by the fire. Yeah, that does sound pretty nice. She's like a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? And I just want to rip that parka right off of her and make some snow angels, right? No. Uh, absolutely. When are you going to take her to the bone zone? <laughs> like, that could ever happen. Come on, man. She practically spends her entire life with you as it is. Well, yeah, but we're like friends. Listen, dude, look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities? You and Ashley, alone at last. You've laid all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now, you come in for the kill. Maybe you're right. 
You're a hunter, bro. No fear, no mercy. I mean, she won't even know what hit her. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, I got it. Jeez. So, how are we planning on breaking into my parents' lodge, bud? I didn't say I had a plan. You sounded like you had a plan. You better deliver, Cochise, or else you got four lovely ladies who are gonna be freezing their buns off. And last time I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. Oh, shoot. Nobody likes cool buns. turn off my GPS. Well, 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 we got ourselves a thinker. Nice one. attention in climbing class. You mean Jim? Yeah, you know, with the climbing up the rope. Whoa. Did I do that? I, I don't think so. Here, use this. Whoa, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah? Totally. Well, what, what is it? Okay, so... I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's, it, how's a stick of deodorant gonna help? Spray on. It's a can. Oh, yeah. Now I gotcha. Flamethrower. Just like we did with the little army dudes. Yep. Ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and whoosh. Bye-bye frozen lock. Bingo. All right, so you got this. I'm gonna go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? Nope, but I'll do it. Godspeed, Pilgrim. Driven mad murderer. That's cool. Thank you. 
What was that? Very funny. Oh, how'd you know it was me? Shouldn't you be, like, getting the lock open or something? On it. Hi, Mrs. Washington. This is Sergeant Tate again. It's bad news, I'm afraid. Yeah, we've been through the case files, and there's nothing we can do. He's a free man. We don't have the legal power to restrict his movement. I know it's not what you wanted to hear, so call me if you want to know more. End of messages. Okay.
we're freezing our buns off out here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll, I'll be here all week. <laughs> ah, crap, that thing freaked me out. What was it? Are you okay? It's like a bear or a tiger or something. Oh, it was just a cute little baby Wolverine. Baby? Don't worry, buddy. You're gonna be a big boy soon. Home sweet home. Sweet is not the word I'd use. Oh my gosh, it's so good to be inside. Even if it's still kind of freezing in here. I'll get a fire to go. This place barely looks any different. Yeah, nobody's been up here. Even with all the police coming in and out? N not a lot of action up here lately. Nope. What's up, party people? Hi. Hey. Make yourself at home, bro. Will do. Yeah, come on in. Take a load off, have whatever you want. You just take whatever you want anyway, right? Whoa, it's easy there, cowboy. What the hell were you doing with M out on the trail? What? I saw you and M with the telescope. Before? We just ran into each other. It's been a while, so we hugged and I said hello. Is that against the law? Um, right. Right, I'm sure it's all it was. You know what? You can think whatever you want. It's a free country. Watch yourself, Mike. So gross. <laughs> Are you trying to swallow his face whole? Yeah. I mean, seriously, can she be any more obvious? No one wants in on your territory, honey. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you not hear me? Was your sluttiness too loud? Sounds like someone's bitter she didn't make the cut. Yeah, it's all a big cattle call with that dream boat. Congrats, you're top cow. Cuts real deep calling Miss Homecoming a cow. Shut up, Matt. Stay out of it, you dumb oaf. Hey, watch it. Oh, you're the only one who could put him down? No one else can play with your toys? You're such a bitch. Whatever. I don't give a crap what you think. At least I can think. 4.0, bitch. Honor roll. Suck on that when you're trying to sleep your way into a job. Who needs grades when you've got all the natural advantages you can handle? Oh, please. You couldn't buy a moldy loaf of bread with your skanky ass. <laughs> Are you serious? Do you think that's insulting? That bitch is on crack or something. Jessica, you need to shut your mouth, okay? No. You're the one who needs to keep your nose out of other people's business. I'm about to get right up in your business, you bitch. Are we about to get real? Because I am down to get real. Stop it! This is not why we came up here. This is not helping. It's not what I wanted. If we can't get along for 10 minutes, and maybe we need a little bit of a break, right? Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Wanna go do that? Any place without that whore. It, it's right up the trail. <sighs> Glad that's over. Yeah. So, Josh, uh, should we get this fire going? Where's my bag? Huh? My bag, the, the little bag with the pink pattern, the one I got on Rodeo. Matt, are you, are you listening? Oh my god, don't you remember? Next to the Italian shoe place where I got the stilettos and you knocked over the rack while you were drooling all over that girl at the counter? Well, I mean, she was asking about my letter jacket. Right, because she gave a shit about your designer letter jacket. Why do you hate my jacket? Matt, I need my bag. Oh my god, Em, you, maybe you just forgot it. Do you seriously think I'd forget my bag? Well, do I... Do you? Guess not. You must have left it down by the cable car station. <sighs> 
Come on, hon. We'll be back soon. <sighs> then we can get warm. We can get very warm. Okay. Okay, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna go take a bath. <sighs> Exiled. Sexiled. <laughs> Works for me. Ugh, bar. How far is this cabin anyway? This cabin is the coziest, most romantic love den you will ever lay your eyes upon. <laughs> If we ever make it. I have a feeling luck's on our side. Play your cards right and maybe you will get lucky. Hey, porn stars. You're gonna need these. Porn star? I'd pay to see it. Uh, gross. Hey, I'm sorry to kick you out like that. No worries, man. Oh, I'm sure you'll find a way to entertain yourselves. Mm-hmm. You have fun with the peanut gallery. <sighs> oh, I almost forgot. Gotta fire up the generator so you can see where you're going. It's dark out there. All right. Roger that. I think Josh was flirting with me. Okay. You wanna invite him up with us? Wait, really? What? No. Photo booth? All right, read my mind. <sighs> okay. Uh, good effort. Next time I get the camera, okay? Well, okay, but. It's not easy holding the thing all like backwards and forwards at the same time. <laughs> okay, let's go. I've got cabin fever. <sighs> Burr, it is freezing out here. Now that's something I can help you with. And how are you gonna do that? Uh, I got a few things in mind. Not a lot of TLC for this place anymore. Kind of a bummer. Emily's as dumb as she looks if she thinks she can cut in on what we got going on. Maybe if we're lucky, she'll try and follow us out here and get eaten by a bear. I think you bring out the worst in her. Is that so? Epic jealousy. Suck it. Huh. Guess this thing needs juice or something. Didn't Josh say there was a generator? In the generator or what? Hi. Isn't it nice to fire up Jenny and get moving? What's a 
Jenny. All right. Let's see. Boom. Nice one, Mikey. Damn. The gates shall open. Pretty good, right? Yeah, totally. That was just awesome. Oh, yeah. I bring the hit. <laughs> you psyched yet? You don't look psyched yet. I am so psyched right now. <laughs> it's like a little adventure, a sexcapade. <laughs> Wasted. From Hannah and Beth. I think they'd clean it up. Well, they never closed the investigation. Okay, I'm. Getting the creeps now. It's all such a blur. I can barely even remember what happened. Well, what I remember is that we played a stupid half baked prank that probably got Hannah and Beth killed. Hey, I mean, it's not our fault they ran into the woods. Yeah. How could anyone have expected them to do a dumb thing like that? Hear that? I heard something. Yeah. Damn. I don't think we can get up to the cabin with the path block like this. Oh, no way am I going back to the lodge, aka Wax Museum, to drink hot chocolate with Emily. You know what? Fuck it. We're adventurous. We <laughs>
Grunting together. This is not what I pictured. This is giving me the willies, and not the good kind of willies. Can I offer you a little comfort and reassurance? <laughs> we'll save it for the cabin, Buster. This is like historical. Holy bat cave. It's gotta be Native American, right? I don't think the miners were getting their arts and crafts on, no. <laughs> no, no, it's like a shrine or something. A shrine to what? Fixer rubber. Finally.
Let's see if people see the photo on the splash. When Josh said cabin, I felt like Abe Lincoln. <laughs> Where do you see the Lincoln bedroom? Oh, are you planning on getting presidential on me? <sighs> you take a ride on Air Force One? <laughs> all right, all right. Save it for this. Oh, a telescope. Gonna look at the trees, gonna look at the clouds, gonna look at the cabin. Um, whoa. You all right? I just saw someone at the cabin. Okay, let me see. Sampling the old eggnog again, babe? It's just us up here. I... Uh, maybe. Answering his mating call. Wow, you're easy. Yeah, You've got a lot of love to give. <laughs> I'm scared. Josh, could you have at least cleared out the path before sending us up here? <laughs> really? What? I didn't figure you for the glass half-empty type. You got a better idea? Stand back, Debbie Downer. <laughs> oh, boo! Show off. Hey, Mike. You got something on your face. That's how it's gonna be! Yes? <coughs> yes!
brush much. Those things are a joke, man. They don't do shit. No way, bro. I mean, we used to do it all the time, me and... Well... Josh, no hot water's kind of major oversight, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, you just gotta fire up the boiler. It's in the basement. All right, you guys, see if you can find the spirit board. Chris, let's go find it. It'll be like a scavenger hunt. Um... Okay. Guess so. Brad. You're not gonna regret it. You up for a ride along? how I gave Chris and Ash a mission together. Yeah, I was thinking they could use some alone time. They are very sweet together. I wish they'd just freaking get on with it already. I swear, they just need, like, something to bond over, you know, some sort of traumatic event to send them into each other's arms. I mean, at this rate, they'll be in the geriatric ward before Chris makes a move. <laughs>
you know, Sam. Yes, Josh? I just wanted to say... Uh, what? It really means a lot to me that everyone came back this year and you know that you came, Sam. Josh, we're here for you. Really, whatever you need, whenever, we're all gonna make it through this, together. Um, I want us to have a good time, you know? Hey, watch your step. I think I can handle a little old set of stairs. Mm -hmm. Sorry to drag you down into the bowels. Oh, just get me some hot water and I'll be super fine. I mean, I wouldn't want you coming down here on your own, you know? Well, it's definitely creepy down here. Yep. Not a place to be on your own. Rough playing baseball out in all that snow. No, it, it wasn't in the winter, silly. I mean, we'd come up in the summer and we would have the best time. The whole family was there. Mom, Dad, my sisters. It was some serious competition out there on the big lawn. I don't know. Can't go back. New reality. Right, Sam? Anyway, I'm supposed to be fixing this. Right? Here, can you, can you hold this? What was that? What was what? Just shine it here so I can see what I'm doing. Hey, can you just keep the light so I can see, okay? Nice one. Okay, first things first. We gotta increase the water pressure before we get the boiler fired up. Mm, sounds kind of complicated. No, it's actually pretty simple.
Gotcha. All right, all right, your point. Thirty love. What? No. Where'd you get the first point? Doesn't start at thirty? No, fifteen. Oh. Well, more of a ping pong game. <laughs> regular about it. I'm gonna go check it out. What? Why? <laughs> what do you care, pretty face? No, it's, it's probably just, like, not anything. Uh, why don't you hold down the floor while I make sure? Okay, wh whatever you say, madam. Was I not supposed to take advantage of the opportunity? Are you... are you serious? Were you in on this, putz? <laughs> no, but I, I wish I was. That was too good. I'm ready to admit that your dumb little prank may have a slight whiff of humor. Joke master! Well, I, I said nothing about jokes. I said your prank. Which was dumb. Holy crap, you were scared, admit it. I was not! Come on, you totally pissed yourself. Josh! What in God's name are you wearing? I found my true calling. Mm -hmm. Please tell me you're gonna take a vow of silence. <laughs> okay, okay, did you at least find the thingy? Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. You know what? You know what? No, no. I've just been through enough spooking for one night, okay? I see a hot bath in my crystal ball. Mm. All right? So have fun. Oh, but watch out for that, Josh. He's a schemer. Okay. I would like to understand your feelings toward people with fear, isolation, loneliness. Do you share this fear? And how do you feel about people who are afraid? Well, Mike has a fear of isolation. Do you feel pity for him? Indeed, that is apparent from the choices you made. investigate your feelings toward other people in greater depth. What you value, what you respect in yourself and others. Which would you say was most important in a person, loyalty or honesty?
So you would tell a lie in order to be loyal to a friend, okay. And what about loyalty versus charity? <laughs> so you would sooner look after your friends before caring for those in greater need? Well, once again, I'm afraid we're out of time. We'll talk again soon. Today is the one-year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy of Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, and I'm thinking of them. Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. Boom. Butterfly effect. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you not hear me with your sluttiness? Stop it! Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah. yeah, all right. Did you hear that? What in God's name are you wearing? Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. I'll watch out for that, Josh. He's a schemer. Well, that's how it's gonna be. Yes? Jess? Ah! Yes. So, it says here, to communicate with the spirit world, you must free your mind of all preconceptions, drop all inhibitions, and generally give yourself over entirely to the will of others, sublimating your every desire to the whims of the spirit master, which is me. It doesn't say that. And all present will remove their garments at my sole discretion. Chris, come on, this is serious. <laughs> oh, I'm deadly serious. <laughs> oh, shush it. Let's try this. Yes, please. Okay, then. Let's see what happens. Ashley, since you're a recent convert, why don't you be our medium for today? Okay. Um, is anyone there? Will you reveal yourself to us if you're there? <laughs> Wait a minute. Did you do that? I didn't do anything. It's moving again. <laughs> H? What's it spelling? Hold on. How's this happening? Are you moving it? I swear, it's just moving. Oh, shit. Help? How are we supposed to help? I don't know. What does it mean? We need to know who it is if we're supposed to help them. Who are you? <gasps> oh, here it goes. Okay, S. I? S. T. E. R. Sister. Sister? Whose sister? Oh, come on. Is this for real? Shut up. Ask it whose sister. Josh, it's, it's gotta be. Yeah, okay, well, which sister is it then? Ashley, ask who it is. Who are we speaking to? Hannah? Is that you? Oh, God. <laughs> this is messed up. Josh, are you? I'm fine. Are you sure? Because we can stop. No. Dude, it, it's cool. I want to hear what it says. I don't know where to start. Think about it. If this is actually Hannah, I mean, we can find out what happened that night. Josh. I can handle it. Okay. Um, let me think. Hannah, we miss you, and we want to know what happened to you. Can you, can you tell us what happened? B? E? Betrayed. What does she mean? Oh, it, it's still going. Oh, God. K I L L E D.
No. Come on, girl. We didn't kill them. It was just a prank. Ash, calm, calm down, okay? Just, we, we, we need to find out more. I'm sorry. I am guys, so guys, sorry. What, what do they mean? Ask them what, what happened. It's, it's, the, it's the only way to know. Ask them, Ash. Okay. Who killed you? Hannah, who was it? L? I? B? The library. Maybe there's something in the library e here? E? R? O? O? Proof. There, there's, there's proof. In the library? Oh, no. oh. <sighs> Holy shit. Chris? You know what? No, this is bullshit. This isn't real. Josh, I don't know what's going on. Listen, I don't know. I don't know if you think messing with me is somehow going to help me deal with my grief or whatever, but this is not cool. Josh, no. You wanted to use the spirit board. Hey, hey calm down. It's, it's not actually. I don't need this right now, okay? You guys are full of it. Should we go after him? Ah, oh, man. I, I mean, he'll be okay. Let's... Let's just give him some time. I don't blame him. That was crazy. The pointer flew right off the table. I mean, if, if you were faking it, if you were doing one hell of a job. I wasn't faking anything. I think we should do what it says. We should look in the library. Jessica, oh, come on. Jess, where did you go? This is not funny. Jess, buddy, you in there? Out of my jeans. <laughs> the hell is that doing in there anyway? Jess? Hun? Light of my life? Oh! Oh my God! No! <laughs> that was so good! No! I wait, totally wait, wait, promise to I won't. Be... I'm not Let's seeing it. No, 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 no. You recorded that? <laughs> Look at your face. <laughs> I was scared, oh Jed. You can't just jump out at somebody. I'm in the middle of the woods. It's scary. I'm sorry to I'm... scare you. If we send that to anybody, <gasps> I'm what? gonna kill you. I didn't know you had such a cute little lady like scream, Michael. <laughs> Guess you never really know someone until you've scared the pants off of them. <laughs> All right, fine. You win. It's not a contest. But I do win. Every time. Uh-huh. Whatever you say, babe. <laughs> oh, keep on crying, Romeo. See where it gets you.
Well, well, well. Look at this fun little lovebird carving. An M and an E. Any idea what that could stand for? Oh, could be any, you know, Elizabeth and in my room. <laughs> or maybe Michael and Emily? Relax. I just didn't realize you were so sappy. Pun intended. Hey, I may look like a tough and rugged manly man on the exterior, but deep down, I'm in touch with my feelings. I'm not afraid to show a little affection now and again. Oh, yeah? You gonna show me some affection later? Girl, all kinds of affection. Oh, is that a check I can cash? Wink. Let's go, Casanova. Some time after, the prospectors came to mine this mountain until a cave-in trap and driven mad murderers. Wounds and many hunts. My grasp beyond my reach.
girl, you know I'll help you up. Town. Shh. What? Do you hear that? No. Hello? Someone there? Charming. It's everything you described, Michael. Wait, what? The cabin. I love it. Yeah. culinary jobs. But hey, I'm gonna make this quick for you, okay? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, okay. Uh, gee, how do I? Uh, I can't watch this. Okay, 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 okay. Ah! 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 Wait, what, what did you do? What the fuck? It came up. Ah! 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 Oh my god, what the hell?
go. I am. Mike, get the key. Get it open. Oh, oh my God. Oh, it's closed. Uh, what? Had it under control. Whole time. Oh, bullshit. No, hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred and ten. Holy crap, I feel like I just ran a marathon. I think we kind of did. Was it a bear? Yeah, gotta be. Things are crazy fast. I mean, I didn't see it. Hey, things are not gonna come barging in, I promise. How can you be sure? Because I'm pretty sure bears don't know how to open cabin doors. I've seen them open car doors. What? Where? On the internet. Really? Okay, well, this isn't the internet, Jess. Right? This is real life. And I promise you that no bear or anything else is going to open that cabin door. I guess you're right. Okay. I'm almost feeling relaxed again. Almost. Huh. Typical. This is... Chalet, I was promised, Mike. Yeah, it's a bit drafty or something, right? Well, there is a fireplace. Well, we don't need a fire to heat things up. Michael, I am a lady, and a lady needs a proper romantic setting. Okay. A lady would like to cuddle up with her man by a nice, cozy fire bathed in atmospheric mood lighting. Right. It'll get plenty toasty once we're rubbing up against each other. Mike. Yeah. Fire and mood lighting. Yes, my lady. <sighs> nice. This will lighten up the mood a little. Lights. I know it's the lights, dummy. You broke them. Uh, it's probably faulty wiring or something. You've got faulty wiring. guys were inventive. Whoa. I'm not sure if I'm ready for such advanced levels of game play. you think was in there, Mike? Come on. <sighs> it's so cold in here right now, my tongue. Shit. Fuck, Mike. What? Oh, crap. What? Where is it? What? What's wrong? Gone. It is gone, okay? Yes, slow down. What is gone? My freaking phone, Sherlock. Can you find it? Oh, 
Soaking wet, trying to scare me. Kind of a dick move. I'm sorry, Jess. Probably fell out in the water and doesn't even work anymore anyway, so whatever. Hey, I'll make it up to you. I promise. Looky, looky. Who's gonna fire up some nookie? You've been dying to use that line since we got here, haven't you? Jess, look at this. Is it a fire? No, way cooler. Huh? How you like me now? Oh my god. Why do guns make men go completely bonkers? <sighs> Nothing. She'll never understand what we have together. Looks like we weren't the only ones to meet the friendly neighborhood terror bears. That does not make me feel any better. I'll take care of the mood lighting. Man one, fire zero. Very nice. A bravo. All right, my lady. What? comes next. I think... Well, I, I wish we had some booze. Uh, well, uh, if I'd have known that ahead of time. I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of just, I'm not feeling it yet. Maybe we just need to jump into it. You know, like jumping into a swimming pool. What? Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Seriously? Did you think that would work? Always has before. <laughs> Dick brain. You gonna use the same lines on next year's girl when she sees my initials in the tree? Ouch. Mike, the shutters. What about them? Um, close them, please? <laughs> There's just no one out there. I feel like someone's watching us. I don't like it. Yes, really. It's fine. <laughs> I really don't like it. Okay, shutter it is. Shutters are shutted. Now, where were we? I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I think 
I'm a little freaked out, and it's hard for me to, like, keep this up, and... What? Keep, keep what up? Look, I act all super confident and like a total sexy babe and everything, but underneath, I gotta be honest, I'm really kind of insecure. You've got to be kidding me. What? You have nothing to be insecure about. Oh. <laughs> you have no idea. Sure I do. He's just like me and everyone else. We're all insecure. But you know how to handle yourself. You might call it a front, but it's real. Yeah. I guess I do. Yeah. And that's super fucking hot. Really? Yeah, hell yeah it is. See if you can find a blanket and maybe we can snuggle up a bit by the fire and sort out exactly how big of a dick you are. Okay. Whoa. The blanket. Right. Blanket's coming up. It's your phone. What? How is it my phone? I don't know. It just came through the window. Oh, for fuck's sake. God damn it. What? Those goddamn assholes probably followed us out here to fuck with us and just when we were getting down to business. they were if I wish they weren't. I guess we should find out. Josh looked really freaked out at the seance. Yeah, I mean, he, he looked like he was keeping it together, but... Do you think we shouldn't have mentioned his sisters? It's why we came back up here. Yeah. But not to, like, have a seance. Maybe we went too far. <laughs> Damn it. Whoa. Did, did you see that? Yeah. The, the, 
power's not even on. Weird. That's a good question. Should I push it? That's what buttons were for, I guess. Leave it to the Washingtons to have secret passages in their house? I mean, maybe they didn't even know. This place is super old. So, should we take a look? Yeah, after you. No, 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 no. You go. <sighs> Gee, thanks. Whoa. What? Whoa, is what this... What did you find? Uh, well, no, there's, there's really not much in here. Did you look everywhere? Ah, are we really gonna take orders from a spirit but board? But it said the library. Ash, there's nothing here. Let's just go find Josh, okay? Bizarre. Yeah, you're telling me. Why would there be a whole secret room back there with the button and the moving wall if it was just empty? Looks like it was written by Josh's mom. Yeah, she's really making an effort to set things right with some native tribe or something. Yep, the bad karma goes back a long way. So, um, I've just been thinking about something I saw earlier with Sam. What? It, there was like this wanted poster, like full on Western style, you know? So? And Sam really thought there was someone following her around. So, so what you're saying, there's some criminal up on the mountain with us? There was a message on this answering machine I found, and it. It, it was from this sergeant saying that there was this guy who had just gotten out of prison and there was nothing he could do. Well, what do you mean? He was saying it like, like a warning. I mean, maybe that's whoever was down in the basement before. What? 
under the floorboards in the library, the light. Well, there was that guy I told you about. Wait, 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 what guy? The guy who threatened the Washingtons. I mean, he, he said he wanted to take revenge by burning the whole place down. Chris, if this is your way of trying to make me feel better, you're fired. <gasps> you hear that? That was Josh! Coming from the kitchen. <gasps> Josh! Josh! Oh. Coming! Hold on! I'm going to show you some uh, pictures of people that you have come to know. Like. But maybe you don't like them as much as you pretend to. Well, this is an exercise in honesty. Tell me which person from each pair you like the most. Take your time. Your answers are important. Tell me, in this little game you're playing so diligently, who is it that you most dislike? A bit too bitchy for your taste. Often the lack of confidence manifests itself as overconfidence. Think about that. Is that not just a little bit like... Again, I'm afraid we're out of time. We'll talk again soon.
There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. Apparently, he had warned them against pursuing their construction project in Blackwood Pines and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. S. I. S. T. Sister? Ask it whose sister? Josh, it's, it's gotta be. Which sister is it then? Ah! Run! Oh. Oh. oh my god. Yes! Hey! Jessica! 
Jessica! Ash! Ash! Not good. Not good at all.
Ashley! Ashley! Anyone out there, Ashley? Ashley? Ash? Ashley? I'm here. Where are you? God damn it. Please, help me. Uh, I'm coming, Ash. Just, uh, just keep talking to me. What happened? Chris, I can't. I can't move. Ashley, I'm gonna get you out of this. Don't worry. I'm really scared, Chris. Are you there? 
Hello. And thank you all for joining me. Tonight, we're going to conduct a little experiment, sort of test. Now, for this experiment, we'll need the cooperation of our two test subjects, Joshua and Ashley. What? But we're going to need one more brave participant to help decide which subject will live and which will die. Please, 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 everyone calm down. It's all very simple. Christopher, you will find a lever placed directly in front of you. All you have to do is choose who you will save. Okay, 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 this is gonna be okay. Oh, dude, buddy, oh let's just think God. about this for Chris, a minute. You can't let me die. Just, just give me a second. I, 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 uh, huh? I can't think straight. Just, just, huh? But if there's a maniac running around, I think we need to get some help, too, right? Not just wait around. But what about... Why are we still talking about this? Let's go! I'll be right back. 